There's so much drama going on right now. Ooh. Oh. Hey, what is up all my social climbing friends? It's Dustin and I am back with another video. In this video, we're gonna be discussing some stuff that I have seen that has went around on Twitter about James Charles and him potentially like photoshopping his face yet again onto another picture. However, I do have some exclusive tea, well, an exclusive statement from James Charles that we will get into as well. But first, before we get into that, I would like to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Adam and Eve. You guys know that I love Adam and Eve so much. They're a wonderful company. They've been great to me. They've been great to you guys and right now if you go over to adamandeve.com and use code Dustin you will get 50% off one item as well as free shipping to the US and Canada. Some exclusions do apply. With Adam and Eve you do get 24-7 customer support, 90 day hassle free returns and 20% of their profit goes to fight the spread of HIV and AIDS. So that is very near and dear to my heart. I love that about this company and as always you guys know I say to send me what you got on Twitter and we can talk about it. I just purchased some more things last night. So if you tweet at me, I'll share the things that I purchased as well. It is very interesting to see some of the things that you guys purchase. And as you know, we are going into the new year, a completely new decade. So treat yourself, girl. So with all of that said, let's get into this drama. As you guys know, James Charles released this mini palette and the pictures of him dressed as an elf went around the internet. And as well on the Morphe website, there are pictures of him when you go to the Morphe page for the mini palette. Now, I believe that this originated over on the beauty guru chatter. I took a quick peek and I believe that there's like two threads about this thing and people were saying that James Charles actually photoshopped his face onto multiple different pictures. I'll put them up here for you guys to see and compare. However, you guys know that in the drama community, commentary community, whatever this community is, people like to say that we're biased. And as you guys know, or may not know, I didn't make a video. James Charles and I had a little bit back and forth a week or two ago. And we came to the decision that if I'm going to report on him, that I would at least reach out to him to ask what his statement on the situation would be. And I did that to try to be as unbiased as possible. I didn't know that when I give opinions about things that I was biased, but I did reach out to James and I asked him, I was like, hey, I wanna report on this. I just wanna ask you, is this true? Did you Photoshop your face on multiple different pictures? And James Charles gave me the following statement. James said that these pictures were taken on the same day in the same photo shoot with the same photographer and the photographer edited the pictures. And that doesn't seem far-fetched to me, honestly, because if he was there and he was doing this promo for Morphe, it was both Morphe shoots. It wouldn't be crazy to think that this would be the same makeup and the same look and that the photographer did edit these pictures very similarly and that James did not edit them himself. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna take James's word for it. It's my opinion that I believe him on this one. I don't think that he's lying about this. It makes sense if he was shooting for Morphe, if he was gonna do this promo shot for the Christmas thing where he was dressed like the elf, that he would in fact take in those pictures at the same time for the regular promotion that went up when the site launched his product. And then later for the Christmas promo, it really makes sense to me. You guys let me know what you think about that down below. Now you guys, this video is gonna take a little bit of a turn. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you probably don't know. I am obsessed with candles and this is not sponsored in any way. This is just me and me wanting to share my love for candles. Like I really didn't have anything else to put in this video. And I was like, I have this whole entire big box of candles that I just ordered when it was candle day on Bath and Body Works before I went to Houston. And I wanna share some of them with you guys. I actually had a lot of people saying that I should do a haul video. So this is kind of going to be like a haul video for the candles that I purchased. And I also tweeted out a couple weeks ago or a week or two ago before I went to Houston that I got a wick trimmer and a lot of people didn't know what a wick trimmer was. So I want to show you what that is. It's actually, it looks like a pair of scissors, but they're bit and it actually it lets you get down into the candle to clip the wick. And when you clip the wick, it grabs it so it doesn't fall into your candle. A lot of people didn't know that you need to trim your wicks. Occasionally, sometimes if I don't trim the wicks, you'll see smoke on my candles here in the background. I know that a couple weeks ago, maybe a month or two ago, I posted a video and there was smoke everywhere. That's why. So you guys, I got this off Amazon for like, 12 bucks and they actually came with a candle snuffer and a wick mover. I know that that is like advanced candle terminology, but I am very into candles. If you don't know that about me, very interesting stuff, but let's just get into this. I do have a humongous box here. I did get some repeats because I do like some candles more than others, but I just figured that I would share with you guys what I purchased because some of you guys like that. So the first one here and forgive me, my ring light is not going to do this any justice. So you're probably not really going to be able to see what it is, but the candle is land of sweets and it has this cute, like little like top that is like candy or something it's supposed to look like I've never smelled this before it smells like blueberries and candy if that makes sense 
It smells really good. And you guys, I used to do candle haul videos before I ever did drama videos way back in the day when I was dyeing my hair. <laughs> so <laughs> this is kind of like taking me back to the roots of where I started on YouTube. And you guys probably already know what this scent is. It's Winter Candy Apple. I have one back here. This is one of my all-time favorite scents. I can't wait till around the end of the year when they start coming around when it's Christmas time. If you know what this smells like, you could probably smell it through the screen right now. This is absolutely one of the best. I think I bought like three of these, so I'm not gonna like unbox another one of these. I'll just skip forward when I get to it, but I love this scent so, so, so much. This right here is another one that I had not smelled, but I can pretty much guess what it's gonna smell like. It's mint chocolate, so I'm assuming that it's gonna smell like mint chocolate chip ice cream. I do love the scent of that. I hate mint chocolate chip ice cream for some reason. I just can't get down with it. I don't really like chocolate that much, which is crazy because I just took a 23andMe DNA test and it said that my traits would be that I actually love chocolate, but I hate it. I cannot stand it. And it smells exactly like a York peppermint patty, just like I thought it would, like mint chocolate. Is that what a York peppermint patty smells like? Because it does to me, I don't know. It smells really good. I could, I could probably lick this. Like that would probably be a bad idea. Okay, right here is party dress. I smelled this when I was in the store last time. I can't remember what it smells like. I'm pretty sure it smells good, but I do love the packaging and the way that the candle looks with this. It's very like modern looking, very clean. It's very much my style. Oh, it smells really good. It's very like a feminine fragrance and it smells very clean. So if you were into that kind of thing, might wanna go pick this one up. Okay, this is Black Tie. This is my absolute number one favorite fragrance of all time from Bath & Body Works. Like, this right here smells like a man. And you guys know I love men. I mean, come on. A couple years ago when 50 Shades of Grey came out, I believe that this was inspired by that. There is another one I think called uh, Suede Suit or something, very close to that. I can't remember the exact name that came out as well, but this candle smells exactly like you would think it would. It smells like a man. It smells like men's cologne. And these are very, very, very strong candles. Like if you light three, your whole entire house will smell like this. And it smells so good. It's like heaven in wax. I was gonna say heaven in a candle, but like, you know what I mean, girl. I'm also very sorry to disappoint. I did not get Peach Bellini this time. If you guys have watched that video that went viral a couple years ago of the girl AZ, a AZ for Angela or something. I can't remember her name where she flips out on the girl at Bath and Body Works. I love that video. When I'm feeling down, I actually watch that to pick myself up because it's just so funny just how into candles this girl was and how like serious she took the situation when they didn't have her winter candy apple. This is Champagne Toast. I don't believe that I've smelled this one before. I picked it up because I like the packaging. It was really pretty. So let's see what my first thoughts are with this candle. It's very, it almost, like, I'm really bad at picking up scents, but this almost smells like it has like pear in it. I don't know. I could be very, very, very wrong if I am. You guys, if you like this candle, if you know what the notes in this candle are, let me know down below. But it smells very clean. It smells very like crisp. It's almost, I, this almost smells like it would be like a kitchen candle for me. I, like, I really, really like this. Well, that's just freaking wonderful. Um, I have not got to inspect this box. I do have like a gated yard. So the person that delivered my candles actually dropped this humongous box over my gate. And I'm assuming that when they did that, the candle that was in the bottom of this box broke and it's actually one of my favorite candles. I am not going to like open this because I'm gonna get glass everywhere, but this is leaves. If you guys love that scent, let me know down below. I'm actually really upset that this candle is broken. I probably won't even contact customer service unless there's other candles that are broken because it's just not worth it to me, the hassle. And it's been like a week, so they would probably think I was lying anyway. But yeah, this actually kind of makes me really sad. I really do like leaves, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this glass and this candle back into this box. This is Cactus Blossom. I usually do get this every once in a while. I love this scent. It is very, 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 very strong. I can't really think of a good way to describe what this scent smells like, but it smells really nice. It smells fruity, obviously Cactus Blossom, but wait a minute, Cactus Blossoms are flowers. Like, girl, it smells flowery, I guess. I don't know, but I love this scent. It smells really, really nice and clean. Oh wow, look, there's some more glass from my leaves candle, but this is a winter candy apple, so we're gonna throw that glass back in that box 
and keep it moving. This right here is another really good one. This is winter. And if you've ever shopped in Louis Vuitton, you will know what Louis Vuitton smells like. It has a very distinct scent. I also use wallflowers. I am one of those people I love for my house to smell really, really nice. So I had put the wallflowers in and I had tweeted out the other week about how my house smelled like Louis Vuitton. And this is exactly what Louis Vuitton smells like to me. Like it really does. You know, if you shopped at Louis Vuitton, what it smells like. And this is it for me because they have all the different colognes and perfumes in there and the mix of them together definitely smells like this to me. That smells like heaven. This right here is one of my boyfriend's favorite scents. He always makes me buy like a whole bunch of these when it's close to Christmas. This vanilla bean Noel, he gets like the lotion and everything. His grandmother loves this scent. It smells so good. It's like vanilla, but it smells like vanilla cookies to me. Like really like homemade vanilla cookies. Like if you guys have never smelled this, go down to Bath and Body Works and smell this. This is one of their best seasonal holiday scents. In my opinion, it smells so good. This is Citrus Crystals. I was very excited to see this on their website. I don't think that I've ever seen this in the store. They probably do offer it in the store, but I have not seen this one. I love Citrus Scents. Obviously, I like Mountain Dew. I love anything citrus. Citrus is like a very like good scent to me. I haven't smelled it yet, so let's give it a go. This is ironically, it almost smells like this candle that was sent to me that's a Mountain Dew. I hope you guys don't really think that I have a random Mountain Dew sitting up there. Tanisha, one of our social climbing friends, sent me this candle. It smells exactly like Mountain Dew. It smells really good, and that's why I have it sitting back here. I'm not going to burn it, although I would really like to, but this smells very similar to that. And I really, really, really like this. This one is not as strong as that one. That candle is like super duper strong. Like you barely put it close to your nose and you can really smell it. But this is like a fainter scent of that, ironically enough. So I really do like this. I can't wait to burn it. Okay, so it looks like I'm out of candles. I did have a bunch of repeats. I actually ended up buying like 20 candles. So you guys let me know if you have any of these candles, which one of them is your favorite? I'm honestly really upset that I had one candle like broken, but I paid like I think maybe eight bucks for it. So I'm not too entirely destroyed over it. You guys, I know that this is different and I don't normally do videos where I talk about things that are not drama related, but I wanted to put some kind of filler in here because I was feeling like doing something a little bit different. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I did get a lot of requests for this. So for those of you that did watch this video all the way through, I thank you so much. As always, you guys, let me know what you think down below about James Charles and his statement about all of this drama, about Photoshopping his face onto different pictures because I believe in this time. I hope you all have the most amazing day ever and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.